Who dies today? Probably everyone, if I'm being honest. Okay, so I just finished the fire trial. Or grass trial. You fly here. Back to here, here. What type should ninja? Electric with an air balloon. Very, very broken. I've only had to use it like three times so far. But all three were like very clutch. How should ninja statistically? Garbage. That's why I'm not using it often. Whoops. I gave it like smoke screen and stuff to have it be more of a support Pokemon. Very bulky. It's a very bulky Shedinja. Well, bulky is a strong word. It has very good defenses, but not very good defense. Does that make sense? <laughs> this is a new area. Diglett's Tunnel. That means I can catch something here. I could be okay. Talk to Croak. Check it. Mm. That goes on my list. On to the list. Liquid Ooze. Yeah, I'm not really, like, thrilled about this Pokemon. Holy crap. I mean, it's all speed and HP. Pure Poison's not the best either. Um, let me add Talk to Croak really quick. I want to open up my notes for this. I have, I'm taking a bunch of notes on this as I go. So Talk to Croak has Liquid Ooze. Liquid Ooze is terrifying because if I Horn Leech into it, I might die. Yeah, if you're wondering what the Nuzlocke is, um, if a Pokemon dies, you have to release it. If you die, you have to release the Pokemon. And on top of that, you can only catch the first thing on each route. So if you fail to catch the first Pokemon you see on the route, then you can't end it. Same normal base stat total, completely shuffled what they are. Crush is tiny because I'm bad at making layouts. What the hell is over here? What the fuck is this place? Okay, we have one of the scariest fights for a long time coming up in just a second. Here we go. This is a true double battle. It is me and my teammate. I have to fight alongside Hal. All right, what are we dealing with? Burmy is not terrifying. Buttery is not terrifying. How good is much shot again? Okay. Good. Not into me. And we'll just take out the Burmy. All right. Not too bad. That went pretty well. All right. Big moment here. We have a lot of shops to check. I've been looking forward to this part of the run. Like, I get so many shops here. X attacks. I'm not running very many physical attackers, but I'll buy a few for sure. Dusk balls are incredible. I think Dusk Balls are guaranteed to catch everything. 30 HP for 200 is really good. Leaf Blade, high crit rate. That might be better than Horn Leech. Horn, it's less risky than Horn Leech because Horn Leech can Liquid Ooze and kill me. I kind of want this. High critical move as well. I would be 50% to crit once I get to level five affection. I'm gonna buy it for now. I'll decide later. What do you sell? Oh, it's the hiker, right? It's this guy. Nothing great. I'm a 10-year-old and I literally have $50,000. It's 50,000, like, yen, which is a lot for a 10-year-old, but when you're tasked with saving the world, having 500 US dollars roughly is, uh... Ooh, citrus is very good. I'm gonna buy a shitload of those. I'm gonna buy 99. I'm gonna buy 99 twice. Mmm, I want more. Oop. I meant to do this. Each one of those is effectively a super potion. So now I have 300 super potions I can use. Is my team ready for petting? Happy Mew noises. I want this Mew to get to the next stage so badly. I'm putting a lot of my faith into this Mew. Ooh, is that stage four or five? I can't remember. Happy Mew noises. This Shedinja like refuses to be happy. You can only get happiness on Shedinja by petting. It's really annoying. Pokey Pelagio. Okay. It's probably an option on here. Yep, Pokey Pelagio. Literally no clue what this does. Oh, this is good. I can get a lot of beans. Oh, that was a special bean. It made a different noise. Holy shit, that's a lot. Oh, a rainbow bean. I don't know what that does. Yeah, I'm getting hella beans right now. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, this is way more beans than I was expecting to get. I'm really happy it's this easy. This is the most beans I've ever had. I'm getting beaned out of my mind right now. Can you love me again, Shedinja? 
We just played at Poco Poggio. Probably not. Please give me double XP. Please love me. Damn it. No, this is not a speed run. Dude, I'm doing an uber randomizer. Hello? I'm going as fast as I can, but... Ugh, look at my beans. Let's give it a pretty one. What do these do? I'm curious. Oh, that gave me a lot of happy. Whoa. Wait, that just give me the affection level? Wait, wait, wait. Did I just get the whole affection level of one bean? Oh my god, I did. That's so broken. I am happy I did that. I am done with the Mew. Oh, and now it's worth me teaching um, this move. Because now this will hit, this will critical half of the time. Okay, what's this place called? Memorial Hill. If there's grass here, I'm allowed to get an encounter. There's gotta be a hidden item here. Yep. I know this game too well. I know Pokemon too well. I'm fine with this. Cobalion. Do I have info on this yet? I think I do. I do not. Okay, fire was not very effective, which means it is... What types? Rock, water, fire. Yeah, it's gonna be mud shot for sure here. That's not optimal. That's contrary. She used a four. Oh my god. Fly dragon type. I'm gonna quiver. I'm gonna heal. Good. She used something else. What was drill run? Huh. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to check drill run. Okay. I can mud shot it for and it'll be fine. Okay. Whew! Okay, that random fight was uh, not great. You would have thought. A ton of XP at least. And a lot of money. That gave me a lot. Good. Okay, I can get an encounter here. And that's why I bought hundreds of citrus berries. Can use them between fights. What will our encounter be? Ooh. I believe dust balls are guaranteed to catch. Oh, I wanted to check it. Oops. Well, we'll check it later. Who put me up to this? It just sounded like a fun idea. I didn't think it'd be like very doable, but here we are, like halfway through the game. Hitmonlee. Oh, nice. There's the first affection bullshit. That will be occurring often. The Mew will be uh, cheating is the, the used term, the most often used term. Uh, Literally cheating, blatantly, in a lot of my fights. A call of outskirts. This is also a new area. I get my encounter up here. What will it be? I already own this, so I can skip. I will catch the next thing I see. Right, I have dark aura. Man, I could really use a good dark. Ember's a dark move. Right? And it's special, it's 130 power. Wait a minute. I just thought of a move that I should teach the Mew. Hey, what about Ember? Oh, that's a great idea, me. Dark Aura is a double-edged sword. What do you mean by that? Like, it hits me as well. I'm assuming that's what you're referring to. Yeah, but I, I, it still boosts the power of my Ember. I haven't had a move this whole time that took effect on it. Yeah, Dark Fire is okay coverage, too. Dark Fire Ground would be my three typings right now. Anyway, Plumery in the time. I don't think there's any word where I don't quiver turn one. Don't be happy. Good. She can just send out the happy form. Like, that is a viability. <laughs> it's really scary. Okay, quiver turn one. Okay, that wasn't scary. Set up one more. May as well heal. Citrus will give me the, like, 106. Good dodge. Now I get to be, like, almost full. Good. Okay, Lapras. Good crit. Fatal throw is not a threat. Okay. Good fight. Mew's gonna troll me here, it's funny. Yeah, Mew, I'm never going to care for you again. You're at level 5, I don't care anymore. That Shedinja, though. Come on, big guy. Love me. Please. Please. How? I'm mad now. I'm full. Alright, here we go. I think you get healed here anyway. All right, this is a very scary fight. And there's a couple things that are interesting about it. 
So Rock Bay is gonna have a Z move. Now about that Z move, it's not necessarily a rock type, it can be any type. Uh, it could be a status move, it could be an attacking move. And because of that, it can have any power. It could also be physical, it could be special, no clue what it's gonna be. Z Shell Smash was the last Z move I saw. That was not fun. Oh, there's so much at play here that I don't like. I'm gonna play this ultra safe. I'm, oh no, Crawdon's gonna have random stats. It may not be massively attacked. Quiver. Not the best, but I'm quivering, so. That's strong. Dead to crit, so heal. Plus three. Tailwind is fine. Okay, my opponent has found the win con. There's no way I'm outsped by anything after, if even if Tailwind's up. I'm relatively fast. One Tailwind, one more. There we go. Okay, my turn now. Wow. She survives Leaf Blade. That must quad resist. All that set up for a low tab. Okay, one more. Oh my god. It's electric type? I have a ground move. Oh! She tried. She tried. Oh my god. She tried to cheese. That could have been so bad. Wow. Imagine if that thing started setting up. Alright, watch Lily's face. It's so funny. Watch Lily in the background. <laughs> it makes me laugh every time. <laughs> wow, these people are dweebs. Wow, they're having fun. Okay, I have a cool idea that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to Route 5. This is a very good idea. So something broken that I've happened to receive is uh, this. Oh no, I've hit a double... Trainer battle. Aw, oh, man. Who's faster? Probably the Mew. It doesn't really matter. Sketch has 20 PP. And before they explode Mew. Look at the levels. I'm not that scared. That's why I came back to this early game area. Good. I get the evolution on the C.2. That is an amazing move. We'll see what I evolve into with the C.2. I can't believe that lived. That move's not 100% accurate. <gasps> Cursor. Oh, I almost just killed my Salamence. It's different from Gen 6. I do this every time. Yeah, the Salamence is garbage. Its offenses are worse than Weedle's overall. Drum roll. This could be any Pokemon. Okay. The journey continues. I just realized something terrifying. I'm ghost type, right? Yeah. I can run. Coming up, there's going to be a Pokemon with a random stat boost that you just have to end the battle with. You can run, you can win, it doesn't matter. I can run. Because you can't catch it, so I can't just throw a ball. How's the Nuzlocke going? Pretty good. We've made it this far. We, we get to see Umbrella Head. PM. And the random stat boost is defense. That's not scary. I will be running from this. You're nuts if you think I'm staying. And I'm ghost type, so I'm guaranteed to be able to run. Okay, I don't think you get to explore this place at all until later. Yep, that's the case. There's a Howl fight here, and I don't remember if you get a free heal for it. Here we go. You can technically lose this fight. Quiver turn one. That's really good for me that it has Wish. Okay. That's annoying. I'm not wasting a full restore on this. Good. That's why I wasn't healing the burn. Was because I'm just 20% per turn to get rid of the burn. 
<gasps> okay. Oh god, if that was innards out, I was so scared. Okay, Iron Barbs is reasonable. Do I have info on Latius yet? Grassy Surge, that's probably a net positive for me. No Latius info yet. I don't know how scary that was. Okay, this is 5% to miss. Okay. It's more likely, without knowing the type, that uh, I get trolled by Levitate and Flying Typing than a 5% miss. If it was 10% to miss, I'd probably want to switch. Dwebble. No info. I have a Dwebble in my PC, too. I think, if I remember correctly... Oh, it tells me. I thought it was, uh... Steel type, but it probably wasn't. Oh, I never checked the Aurora's still. I'm gonna go check it. Not the best. Shadow Sneak is nuts. There! There's the move that killed us earlier. That's the move that killed uh, Sugar earlier. Goodbye. Well, that wasn't optimal. It was a 105 power triple Omni boosted poison move. So, 105 times 4. I think it was stab too, wasn't it? Because we found out King Lord's poison. So 420 power times stab for 840 times triple Omni boost, which is a 2.5 multiplier. So 840 times 2.5. That was a 2100 power move that killed Sugar earlier. Brutal fatality. Come on, good. Meryl leveled. We get to check. Triple kick. Pretty decent. Clear rough kind of sucks. I'll teach this because you never know. Okay, so we get to check two Pokemon here. First, we get to check the journey. Will Meryl evolve into something good? Oh, that was worth. That was worth grinding the Meryl. Wow, those are good. That's good stats. How's Heracross? Flower gift. That's interesting. That thing is so slow, but it's so good, specially. Holy crap, the special attack. It's so slow. I like this Pokemon. This is better than a lot of my team. I'm going to get rid of the Mence, I think. What was, I'm going to get rid of the Crest. This makes more sense. Okay, the team's starting to look more well-rounded, which is good. Soul Heart. Oh my god, I just realized the ability. Wow. This Drakion is very good. Hello, new friend. Taste the rainbow. Holy shit. That gives over 100. That's bonkers. We might be done. Okay, not quite. I'm gonna pet it, and if we get another boost, we are already done. <laughs> We're already at five. That was so easy. This Terrakion is going to be good long term, so I'm focusing primarily on that. I have swapped out my Cress and Greninja. For a Terrakion and a uh, Heracross, right? Yeah, my team is too wide. I need to start catching taller Pokemon. Yeah, Salmon's Terrakion and Minetric are just so wide. I've never gone this way, I'm curious. There's gotta be an item here, right? What? There's no way. That's insane. M nope, optional. Mali City Outer Cape. That is a new location for sure. Please have the hair. Ah. <sighs> I want to see it. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah, I think this is where you get a little in muck normally. Misty Surge. Fairy moves are better. Cool. Thanks, meme. What? There's like low roll it or something? Jeez. Weedle. I'm gonna hope it's not flying tank. Dude, this team is just getting more and more OP. Uh, which form is this? Tornadus. This is the normal Tornadus. That's really- it's literally the Heracross. Oh, it has fucking Normalize! Ha <laughs> ha! Eh, Normalize is too shit, I'm sorry. I- I'm not running Normalize. It's so bad. Oh, here's Oak. Let me talk to Oak, I wonder what happens. Probably a cutscene. Oh, friend ball. Neat. What about you? Nothing. Oh, there's a cutscene here. Did you give me something? 
Should I do this? It's just an optional battle. I'll do it. Who knows? You probably get like a TM or something after this. I'll take that. It's always a good thing. And Ember. Cool. Easy fight. Let's see what they get out of it. Oh, you have to do two fights. I probably could have healed between the, the two fights. But it's probably been correct. Probably amp again? Tyrog. I mean, I'm just gonna attack into this. It got higher level. What the fuck? So it gets higher level even in the normal game? Weird. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay. Okay. Alright, what do I get out of this? Come on, give me something. <laughs> yeah, his dad's yelling at him about being a failure. Oh, he hired him. I should have lost to him just so he looked better in front of his dad. I feel kind of bad about it, honestly. Come on. That, that, all that for Twisted Spin. I don't care about this family anymore. He has a new route. What'll it be? I like this Pokemon. I always liked Archeops. Archeops is a very cool Pokemon. I think this thing's 550 base stat. 567, even better. Oh, that's pretty cool. Drumroll. <laughs> it's not the fetist. Yeah, send that shit to a box. Go hang out in there. A pile of lemonade. Oh, bad angle. Okay. I should have healed the fool, and I didn't. Very smart. I didn't even see the stats. I mean, something had to be good. It can't be all bad with five, se 567 base. Okay, I'll take it. I will always accept dodging. Please kill. Perfect. Oh, this is super just Ember. That thing was dead as fuck. I don't really have any physical attackers right now, which is a bit sketchy. Then my spe my physical attacker is Mew clicking Quiver Dance five times, and suddenly it doesn't matter what, like, physical and special split being a thing. Everything dies. I'm gonna call this a new route, by the way, because I'm sure it is. It- oh, that's a cool Pokemon. I know this Pokemon's pretty good. How's the base stat total? Uh, 464, a bit low. If they min-maxes, it could be interesting. Well, for like 100 attack or something. <laughs> I said 100. Uh, yeah, min-maxing min is the thing, everybody. I mean, it's neat. It's a neat Pokemon. It's so frail. Um, I'm gonna send it to the box, and that is a YOLO Pokemon later if I need one. Where the fuck do I go to get there? What? Alright, we're just leaving. Can't be asked. Wait, I can't be asked. I figured it out. I, I've learned. Oh, where was this? I like this Pokemon. Can I get a redo? There should be a rule in Nuzlocke where you can redo your catch if you find the Pokemon you like. That should be a rule. I like Leafeon. I like all the evolutions, but Leafeon's really cool. We should call it the do-over clause. It's like, yeah, I redo my catch. I'd rather have this. One minute dab for it. Oh, look, it's less cool Leafeon. Call it the it's my Nuzlocke, I do what I want clause. That's a very good point. Why am I even bothering using rules that someone else made? See, the problem is if I were to catch that, everyone would be like, first off, really? They hit you looking between their legs when they're stretching? This game's bullshit. Second, like, the the comments, well, I mean, I probably won't put this on YouTube. I might, I don't know. But the comments would just be like, Yo, you cheated. This isn't real Nuzlocke rules. It's like, you're right, but... Uh-oh. Alright, we're good. Okay. I thought that guy was gonna be a trainer, too. Let's check the items. Give me beans. Give me beans, please. Come on, give me beans. I want beans. Yes! Big play. Okay, I have the Molane fight now. There's a hidden item over here. It's up here. Where is it? It's up here somewhere. Oh, fucking there it is. Of course. Wait, how do I get to that item? There's an item back there. Is this some shit like this? No? No? Wait, what? Do I have to drive the car? Oh. I'm just actually blind. Could be good. I am healed. I centered. My lane time. Shiner's scary. He has a lot of the Pokemon. That's a scary lead. Three Pokemon with this is not a good lead. Okay, I could Mud Shop. I think Quiver's right. That's fine. I have to kill this now, though. I did not do very much. Oh, this is actually a bit of a threat. Hang on. 
I have hypers. Thank God I bought them. What's the game plan here? Oh, that's weird. That was the wrong play, Molly Lane. Why did he switch? That makes no sense. I'm gonna quiver on this. It must have a good move. Yeah. But I mean, that's not even close to good enough. Let me go one more. Okay, now I can heal. There we go. Brick break, that's what I wanted. Okay, Lucario is back. I really hope this kills. Good. I set up specifically so that would kill. Alright, we're in good shape now. <laughs> Trap inch ending. I think this is uh, weak to ground as well. Neutral. Boy Lane's like the first fight that you don't get a free heal. That's like a plot fight. Like a big plot fight. It's always weird when you fight them. Electric trial. Oh yeah, that's a sick shirt. I never noticed that before. It's the best start. Could be better. I'll go for Ember and see how it does. Half. We're fine. One of the annoying things about this trial specifically is you can't heal between the fights. So whatever health I have going into the totem is my health for the totem. So I'm thinking about switching into something else on the second to last just to try to heal up for the totem a bit. Totem. Aw, it's fat Persian. The coconut-headed Persian. Uh-oh, it's not very effective. Cool. American Persian. Better than Berserker. Charge bug. I, like, don't even remember Berserker. Such an unmemorable Pokemon. Oh, boy. This is kind of awkward. Um, I want to be full health. I'm going to do this. I'm going to just assume Heracross can tank two hits because it had very high defensive stats. So I can heal them, you the fool. Kill here. I think that was correct, what I did. Here we go. A little scary. Spideff Rose. Okay. Not the best. I could always crit through it, though. I'm just gonna go for the one-turn crit. This is a 50%. Did not crit. That's a scary ability. Tearful look. What the fuck is that ability? We'll just go for Umber, then. Still do damage. That's a lot of damage for Ice Shard. Oh, let's get a Mew. I was wondering why that killed. I can't switch now, but it should be fine. That is, by the way, why you get your Pokemon's affection up. It's just little things like that make fights so much safer. Just cheat with love. It's so many extra text boxes, though. Where's the timer on my stream arc? Exactly. <laughs> I don't care about time right now. This is not a speedrun. Why are animations off? They have a speedrunner at heart. Yeah, there's a whole area down here I've never explored. Oh, this is here? I've never gone here before. I'm gonna start doing this in runs. Wait, there's probably encounters here. I haven't gotten an encounter on this route yet. What's up with this water? Is there nothing here? Is this water just bait? Aw, this thing never evolves. Sorry, let me rephrase this. This thing evolves like 50. It's never going to evolve during this run. Like Gen 5, they fucked all the evolution levels, but everything's like good. Also, this is another new route, so I can fish here. Aw, it's a high fucking level. 38, jeez. Nope. How good's Moon Guy's Beam? Eh. Moon Guy's Beam can be an amazing move because it ignores abilities. That includes Sturdy and Wonder Guard. So that could be a Wonder Guard answer. I think I'm going to keep it. It's it's really safe. Over Salamence. Salamence isn't very good. 
Oh, it could actually be a really good move on the Tracheon because it's stab, right? Was it bug? 7095 bug. That's really good actually for the Tracheon because the Tracheon would get stab and it's it's better than Dizzy Punch. Yeah, I'm going to actually get that. Grabbing the fly point and we'll go get that on it, Tracheon. That's a really good call. Okay. This thing's so good in double battles. I did the thing again. Hey, it's fine. Dunsparce did its job, guys. We're fine. Thank you, Dunsparce. Colossal. There we go. Guys, it's fine. Dunsparce did its job. It got us Moon Gaze Beam on the Terrakion. Yeah, I just murdered my own Dunsparce. I was eating, so I was just mashing A. Because I'm like, it's level 15. I'll kill it. But I attacked myself. I always forget the cursor doesn't switch back to the opponent. It doesn't like every other Pokemon game. Uh, yeah, sad music. Pretend it's playing. Yeah, Dunsparce is dead. Alright, what else not dead? What route am I on right now? That's a new route, right? This is Tappy Village. I can get a catch here. Probably useless, but it evolves. I'll evolve it. Okay, I'm fine. Yeah, it was slightly too steep on my angle there. That was almost really bad. I was gonna go right into that trainer. Here we go. I can immediately turn around and grab a Pokemon in here after the trial too, which is nice. That thing's ghost type now. Goodbye. Never mind. Goodbye in the moment. Did it just triple protect successfully? What is happening? Okay, I hit an ember after eight embers. Very cool. It avoided the attacks. Yeah, just dodged two in a row and protected for like four turns. It was crazy. Ah, that was slow. Come on. Oh, I thought that'd still be enough to kill. Thank you for not having Mirror Coat. RNG time, here we go. Where are you? Ah! Okay. I hate this thing. Gengar always is hard. Okay, when in doubt, Ember. Uh oh. Here we go. That, like, kind of looked like Mega Ray for a split second. I don't know why. Like a wide head. Attack rose sharply, plus two attack. So this thing has not been boosted in its defenses. My options here are X defend. I think it's best to just go for the Oko. Are oh, you've got to be kidding me? Okay. I don't see Scraggy as the threat. I will remove the Carnivine. Okay, the Totem is dead. Geodude's gonna evolve. Nice. Missed ball. No special drop. That should be GG. What's this thing? 4x resists dark. Yep. Sometimes at 4x resists dark. Not much I could have done. Big moment. A free evolution. I'm gonna go with uh, by sharp. Well, we ride the wave even longer. Wait, Snubble. Did I have a Snubble earlier? No, I murdered one that I could have captured. I'm gonna just try and damage it. Okay, well, whatever. Got my HP back. And hey, look, now we have one at a higher level.
All right, this is a little neat Easter egg I'm gonna point out again. Check behind my character in the fence right after Acerola gets scared here. It's kind of neat. So she's gonna get freaked out here. Says something about ghosts. And look behind me. For like that little frame, you can see me and Mickey walking back behind the fence. Oh, and you grab my two encounters before I leave. Nullish. That evolves, right? Fucking level 47. God damn. I'm not about to go on the journey. Ah, you know what? Fuck it. We'll go on the journey. There's n Wait, this is going to take forever to evolve. I'll leave it in the PC for now. That's a Pokemon in this game, apparently. Wow. Anyway, what will my Route 14 encounter be? And Arceus. Hey, sometimes you call a 1 in 800 chat. It's only like a 1 in 807 chance, right? Sometimes you just call it. It's nice and easy. <laughs> this game, game's real easy sometimes, guys. <laughs> I just critical captured it too. Game's so simple. Alright, well, that was easy. It's a good addition to the team right there, probably. Not very defensive. Very good, though. And it's got a good attack. Oh, it's Tail Glow. Oh, that changes things. Oh, huh. yeah, I think we'll be okay. I think we're fine. Yeah, that'll, uh, that'll be better than this Rabumbi. All right, well, that was one of the easiest catches I've ever done.